Thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. Hey guys, it's Vandy Ezzel, back again with the LBX Little Bowser Experience videos. So we have joined up to like, subscribe, and so started. So in the last one, we ended up battling against Silly and Kaido in his mansion, and we got wrecked in a three-on-one somehow. But, you know, it's fine, because we end up escaping, and apparently we learned after meeting our dad that we have to win Artemis to get the Metanoia GX that will, has the Platinum Capsule information so that we can protect the world from their wrath. So, basically, yeah, we gotta do that, and apparently Justin's coming to Artemis too. So, without further ado, let's get started. I just wanted to let this play out, because I really like this music. Three, two, one. Let it finish. I, I won't let this finish, because I've let it play already. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I just want to let that play because I really like the theme. It brings like, I don't know, chaos, darkness, the feel, and it's dreadfully terrifying. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Well, that makes sense. That that was like the quickest opening cutscene I've ever seen to a, like a chapter. So he hid it the, in this year's prize for the Artemis tournament. That's nothing. That's nothing if not impressive. I like how Ken and Sadie are like, yeah, this is normal. You know, every, this is an every Tuesday thing. Not any questions at all, even though they're not involved in this whatsoever. So that's cool. They're just used to it at this point. <laughs> Crazy kids and Andrews, etc. But still, it's great news that your dad's okay. Yeah, and there's no way I'm gonna lose in that tournament. I've gotta get the Metanoia GX. Dan, I'm gonna need as much training as I can get before the tournament starts. Uh, can I help? Can you help uh, me out, Chief? I don't know. This is a whole other level than the Catacombs contest. I'm not sure I've got the skills. Don't tell me you're scared. That's pretty lame, Chief. Haha, ha, don't push it, Kaz. But you know. If we had the same kind of world-renowned LBX player to help us, things would be a lot easier. Hey, that's exactly what we have. Don't tell me you've forgotten our legendary fighter. Hmm? Oh yeah, of course, we can ask Lex. Great idea, Van. You should go and see Lex in, as soon as you can and ask if he can help. Yeah, let's head to Blue Cat right now. Hold on, Van, take this with you. What's this, Chief? This is a tune-up kit. This You can use it to modify your LBX. You can choose up to reinforce or lighten your robot. Reinforcing your uh, your LBX defenses, but it will get heavier. Lightning will lower your weight at the cost of defense. Check out the armor modification gauges at the LBX magazine over there at the table. Yes! Finally we have this! I love this function so much! Having the ability to tune up LBX because now you can make your LBX much faster regardless of what weapon they have. So without further ado, I'm going to quickly test that out because this is like my favorite part in the game. So you see... If you come over here, you click on your part, and then you click Y. You can reinforce normal, so we'll put it back to normal if we already messed up with it, or lighten. I'll pick lighten. It only works once, but I like hitting lighten multiple times. I always pick lighten because, um, like, making it heavier, I, I'm a man of speed, if you can't tell, and I like making stuff lighter. So, even if it's at the cost of defense, I really don't care, especially because defense never seems to bother me if you can just move out the way, especially for stuff like Kaz, where they're not going to get close enough to you to make it count. Like, for example... Van used to be decently fast with this stuff, like he wasn't lightning fast like Konoichi is, but now he's at like light speed, he's gonna be booking it. And Amy over here, well, um, let's just say this, she's gonna be so much faster, like, you thought before she was fast and that she would blitz across the field? Guess what? She can blitz across the field in five seconds, because now she can jump ever so slightly higher, and she can dash so much faster. Look at her! 11! 11 on a weapon! You're joking! The speed this is is insane! And just all around bullshit. It's crazy to think of how fast these guys can move. Because once they start moving fast, it's terrifying. Like, look at this! Hunter's about to go down to like A speed with this stuff. I wonder if his hammer's A speed. If his hammer's A speed, I'll be damned. Look, he's at 10! He's literally at 10! Watch. Uh, well, no, I, I, I wanted to actually see what his like, weapon speed was, but like. 
you, you see my point, right? Like, they can move so much faster now. They're gonna blitz across fields. We're not gonna be catchable at Arvis. We're just gonna run circles around everyone. This isn't even me bullshitting. This is me being serious. Anyways, let's sell some stuff so I can buy some stuff, and then I'll uh, train off screen before actually doing the story, because I know the story, while it will lead us to certain areas, will not give us certain things. So we can get the Dominion, a new OBX. We can get Titan, a new OBX. We can also get a Wendigo, a new OBX. Uh, this is what we got last chapter. We got a Paragulus and a Neptune. And weapon-wise, we can get a Light Galiv. I believe we don't get one of those for free, so let's get one. We already have a Buster Sword. Let's get one of those. Let's get two Rapiers, because I really like Rapiers. I accidentally bought nine. That was a horrible mistake in judgment. That was, yeah, this way I've got to pay attention because I'm not going to be able to sell enough of these to get all that money back. So, I only need to sell seven of them. Yeah, see, I lost so much money doing that. That's why you always got to pay attention because all that money went to waste. But giant hammer, and I already have a web bazooka, thankfully. Gun wise, let's get a red revolver, and now I'm out of money because I accidentally wasted all of it. So, uh, without further ado, I'm gonna go off to training and abuse the fuck out of my new speed. So, I'll be back when I have, um, overleveled myself again. Okay, and after my long and arduous training, I am back. So, all I did pretty much was, uh, use my uh, new armors that were leveled up and also used, um, the help of the train, uh, kits, eh, to make my LBXs faster. So now we're a fuck lot faster. We have a lot less defense, which is gonna come back to bite me in the ass on something I really wanna do during this Let's Play. But for now, let's ignore that and then go to Lex, or at least see if we can find Lex because, um, little info on Artemis. So as we all know, Lex is the legendary champion, or he's a legendary fighter. I'm not actually so sure if Lex has participated in Artemis. I assume he has, if he has the title of legendary fighter, but whatever, let's see. It's closed. Well, the CIO was just set down by the new Dom Razors. I wonder where Tyler and Lex are now. Let's go check the CIO HQ. Good idea. Standing here is not going to help anyone. We might as well go look for them. Well, yeah, that's true. Can we go back in? No, it's just locked. Okay, well, that's cool. I don't know why. I guess that makes sense because, you know, the um, CIO did get set down because the new Dom Razors uh, in infiltrated us. But at the same time, I don't get why we think going to the CIO would help. Considering it got shut down, what would they be able to do? They're not capable of breaking and then again if it was a battle to the death Lex again could show off But we haven't really seen any of Lex's skills from um Battle the most we've seen is a tactical Background from just being the legendary fighter. I'm very curious how this man fights if uh, we haven't even seen him fight yet I wonder how good he is is my thing. I wish Kaz would tell us, because that is something I find interesting, just how good Lex is, because I tell you what, he is interesting in the anime, to say the least. What do you want? It ain't got, if you ain't got business here, you better beat it. This ain't no place for kids. Oh, sorry, man. We were just, um, got a bit lost, that's all. Well, go get lost someplace else. Wow, okay, D asshole. So, we're not getting into the CIO unless it had a back door, which I feel like it should, because this is a secure facility meant to fight the new Don Ragers. I feel like you should have a back room way in just in case something like this occurs, but apparently they didn't. <clears throat> Why, Ada? I've had it with those NDR creeps. How dare they just jump into our base like that? To be fair, we did the same to them. Well, not really. We jumped into their bases, their head officer's house, whatever. Point is, eh, kind of even. Yeah, they've got some nerve. Again, we broke into their leader's house. Not really sure whether we have the right to shit talk them. What did we do? I don't know. We could always head to my hideout. You never know. Someone there might have some new info for us. So I guess we're going to Honda's hideout. Now here's the weird thing. You actually cannot go to Honda's hideout during this chapter up until this point. I don't know why they bother locking it off. Their excuse will always be, um, Lex doesn't go towards the hideout. And I think it prevents you from, like, going past the gym area in general, which... I greatly question, like, which actually brings me to another thing. Why would we restrict them from going to the hideout? Because Hans is, like, not an associate, but, like, I swear Lex hired Hans. So wouldn't it be normal for uh, Lex to also go meet Hans in his hideout? But, again, my other question being, how did Hans get wrapped up in all this? That's my thing. How did all these people get wrapped up in those? Again, Gabe, good job. He actually did something useful before. But, um, how did Gabe get involved in this? I guess Mika got dragged along because Hans was here. Uh, but how did Hans get dragged up in all this? How did the hands of Hans, well, actually, hands of Hans make sense? I guess all of it just comes from Hans, and then Gabe is, like, the outlier, which you greatly question why he's here or not. 
But, you know, it's fine. There's been something I've been saving for this one chapter because in the hands of Han's hideout, there is a very item, or I don't know, why did I say very item? Eh. There's an item back at the hands of Han's hideout that you cannot get in the first chapter. There's also an item back here that I forgot to get in the earlier parts of Let's Play, and I didn't want to get it off screen. So if you go back here, you can get the Repair Kit X. You can always... I have 99 Repair Kit S's. Great. <laughs> so I can't even carry it. Well, if you go back here during the... um. At any point in the story, you'll be able to, even now, you'll be able to find a chest in the very back of Honda's room, which contains a core unit. I forgot what it is. I'm going to say it's the Rectangle 2 or Rectangle 1 or something else. But that's just my guess. I'm not even going to bother doing that random encounter. Because I'm actually pressed for time. Like, the day that I'm recording this is the day before this is supposed to go up, so... <clears throat> you, Van, sir... Sorry, Van, Gabe, and you guys. So hey, uh, have you heard anything from Tyler yet? Nah, there's no way. There's no way they'd make contact so soon. Not a chance. What about you guys, Benji? Nope, nothing here either. Hmm. Guess I'll just have to wait it out. Maybe we should just give up, Gabe. And there it is. I tried to give him a compliment. He proves me wrong. What? Obviously, the New Dawn Braces are way too big for us to take on ourselves. There's nothing we can do. And yet, we decided breaking into their leader's hideout was, like, the best idea. I will keep breaking this up because that's an argument that needs to be made for every situation here. Of course there is, dude. But what? According to the Article 2 of the Artemis Tournament Regulations, any competitor who has qualified for the tournament may choose up to two additional team members to enter. Huh? Hold on, but that means... Exactly. The three of us are going to enter as a team. And we're going to win. Right, Van? Well, Van didn't agree to this. Can I take Hans? No offense, Amy and Kaz, but I think Hans is a very useful member. Yeah. It'll be the toughest challenge we've ever faced. And I, But I won't just sit around and watch the NDR take the Medanoia GX. Let's be honest. He wouldn't even stand a chance if he didn't have us by his side. Okay, yeah, sure. And by us, Kaz meant me. Okay, well, Kaz has been more useful. No offense, Amy. So you guys will make a team, huh? Hey, it's from Lex. Hmm? Yeah, sure thing. What did he say? He said we should go to the basement of Blue Cats. Then that's where we'll go. Okay, let's get going. See you later. Three kids up against the NDR, and they're not even phased. They're brave. You could learn a little something. Hey, 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 Rena. I'm the only one that's allowed to uh, bully Gabe about his cowardism. Well, first up, before we do that, well, we're not going to do that quest at all, though I will do a quest this chapter just because it's really funny. Ho honeycomb, I was not remotely close. I said it was a rectangle. That's not what that is at all. So, without further ado, I guess we are heading all the way to, um, back to Blue Cats. Because there's something very interesting in Blue Cats. I assume I'm not prepared for what's about to happen. I'm pretty sure I'm not, but whatever. I don't know why I'm trying to stall this out. I could genuinely just cut if I really wanted to, but I don't want to have to remember that because quite literally, I'm going to have to edit this video really quickly, upload it after I record a bunch of other videos for this chapter because a lot of things went wrong this weekend and I couldn't get a time to record. So quite literally, I had to wait till the day it's supposed to be recorded or like the day it's supposed to at least go uploaded and um, record it then. So this is all going to be fun. If I actually can successfully get this up on time, I'll be proud of myself because then I would have accomplished something I didn't think I would have to go down to. So who knows? This is why I don't do daily uploads because it's really stressful when you get down to the wire. So without further ado, let's head back to the Hands of Hans area. And of course my conversation didn't last that long because why would it? What was my point again before? Oh yeah, how everyone got involved. I genuinely do question that. Like, it makes sense that Van got involved. It makes sense that Amy got involved. It makes sense that Kaz got involved. But genuinely, how did Gabe get involved? I can assume Hans was like... Well, no, how did Gabe... No, how did Hans meet Lex is my thing. Did Lex, like, show up, beat him in an LBX battle? Hans decided to join, and by default, the hands of Hans went along with him. And then when Mika found out, Mika was dragged in. And then Gabe was really dragged in because of quote-unquote maintenance. Plus, to be fair, Gabe is the scapegoat. Gabe will always be the scapegoat. He will never be more than a scapegoat. But he's a good scapegoat at that. I will give him that point. He's a good scapegoat. He knows what he's doing in that job, even if it's not his actual job. That's how I consider it. Take that point as you will. I'm not fighting you, Hugh. I don't care. Oh yeah, I forgot the dialogue always changes when you talk to people. So some people will actually reference Artemis now because this is the chapter of Artemis. 
So let's go in. I'm gonna quickly equip this because I know I'm gonna need a specific item for this match. As much as I want to keep my broken hammer that actually saved me in my match against Justin, I will equip the pulley arm because I know I'm going to need a pulley arm for this. I'm not exactly sure if I'm... I don't want the kite shield. Fuck no, I want the Achilles shield. I don't know for sure if I'm allowed to keep the brass knuckles or not. I assume I am. If I'm not, I'd be a little disappointed, but whatever. Because now we're going to do a little thing from Lex. Spoiler alert. Go to Catacombs. That's not the music for this area, but okay. Hi, Lex. You're imposing... Oh, I missed right by him. You're imposing stance, you. <clears throat> there you are. Lex, long time no see. Good to see you, Van. Is Tyler here? He's been running around town, trying to get the CIO back in business. Huh. Hmm. I like the look in your eyes, Van. That's what I'm hoping to see. What do you mean? Despite everything, you still haven't given up. Are you kidding? I found my dad. I never thought I'd see him again. And he thinks I'm capable of saving the future of the world. I guess that means you're keeping pretty busy, huh? Yeah. Well, then you better get your OBX out. At Artemis, you'll face an elite class of opponents. People that have won on the highest level. I need to make sure you're prepared for it, so I'm going to teach you a new attack routine. Vorpo Vortex. Vorpo Vortex? What's that? It's a special attack routine for, per for pulley arms, so you need to equip one of those first. Van, whether or not Achilles pulls it off is totally up to you. Well, I'm ready. Yeah, that's why I equipped the pulley arm, because I, I knew this was coming. Do I have to only equip a pulley arm? Alright, get ready for your training. This is important stuff, so pay close attention. Okay. First off, from the main menu, select Customize, and then select Special Attack Routines. Once, you've got, once you're on the Special Attack Routine menu, just take a look at the bottom screen on the upper left, and then, yeah. It's the same thing I have explained before, the diamonds are Special special Attack Routines, and the other one is, yeah, etc. I'm not going to bother explaining this again. Give it a try yourself, and then ask me if there's any problem. How did I know that was the final line? Do I have to do that? Are you ready to go? Of course. Okay. So, do I have to set it to where I don't have one? And my other question is, am I allowed to keep the fist? I assume I am. All right, let's get started. Make sure you've got a core memory filled with at least one star marked special slot free. Got it. And there's this OBX. So here's the interesting fact. This match happens in the anime, except we're not told that Lex is trying to teach us a new move in Vorpal Vortex, because obviously, why would he need to tell us that? Um, except he doesn't actually use this LBX. G Lex. Now, this is a thing he does use. I'm not gonna say where, but he doesn't use it in this match, I'll tell you that much. First, let me show you how it's done. This technique concentrates all LBX available energy into one point, then releases it on the opponent. Activate your special attack routine. Say hello to Vorpal Vortex. Yep. Whoa! That's some attack! Okay, why don't we begin? If you want to learn how to use Vorpal Vortex properly, you'll have to do it in battle. And that's what we're going to do. I like how it starts us over here, though. That's something cool. You never get to do that um, on this map, but I think that's nice. Anyways, G-Lex. Okay, could you not do that? <laughs> Anyways, G-Lex is a very interesting LBX. We don't get to fight it in the anime if this was the anime's case. Instead, he would use a samurai, but he's still really skilled with a samurai, too. He doesn't use the same weapons, obviously, but he does end up teaching us Vorpal Vortex, but we don't get to see it till a very climactic battle later. I forgot I don't have star special attack routine, so I'm just gonna quickly choose this. Cheebers. I like how we're both using the same layout of fist and spear. Come on, come on, come get me. So, you'd think this would be a lot harder, considering, you know, champion of, or maybe not champion, but like the so-called legendary fighter. He's really not that bad, especially because they give you a pulley arm is the thing. <clears throat> Looks like you're about ready. Now's your chance, Van. Release all that concentrated energy in one blast. Let's do this. Activate special attack routine. Vorpal Vortex. And this is one of my favorite special attack routines, too. And G-Lux is down. Yay, we beat the legendary fighter. We're the best fighter in the world. 
then I can now use Vorpal Vortex. Now here's the thing, that's actually one of the quest special attack routines, quote unquote, where like, on the sidebar of the special attack routines, or the, the ones that are special, this is one of them, except Van is the only character that can use this, and I don't know why. I mean, I guess I understand why for plot purposes, but still, that's kind of weird. Whew, that was intense. I knew you could do it. Well, I've had a more intense battle with a Justin Kaido where he beat my ass. <laughs> Don't forget the timing. You have to keep practicing, too. You can't be too prepared for what's ahead. Thanks, Lex. I promise you'll g I'll get better. I have to say, I'm pretty jealous. You got the opportunity to learn an attack routine from Lex. That's not something that all happens out very often. Dude, that was awesome. Hans, I guess we should get started. Huh? The CIO might have been in might have been beaten, but just because we lost the battle doesn't mean we've lost the war. Which is why I'm joining with Hans for Artemis! Let's go, baby! Well, we're winning <laughs> as a team. I know we can stop the NDR Razors. Like, why do I keep saying that? You better not go easy on us if we meet in the tournament, Van. We sure won't. Ha, you wish. I beat you once, and I'm ready to do it again. Alright, we should start training. There's not long left until the tournament starts. Yeah, let's go do it. That's the spirit. Mmm. Very interesting. Uh, so, we're guaranteed to win almost because we have both Lex and Hans as a team, and we have our own. So not only do we have plot armor, but in case plot armor fails, we have the legendary fighter. Who I'm pretty sure we barely beat because of, um, he chose to hell back, so. Mm. As per your instructions, he is capable of independent behavior, but he can also be controlled remotely. I'm sorry, what? Excellent. When will the process be complete? Assuming there are no further problems, everything may be ready as soon as this evening. And what about performance? Just leave it to us. Once he's ready, you won't be able to tell that there's anything out of the ordinary. I question what you're talking about. Should always question something that's remotely out of the ordinary, especially if they can't tell if it's out of the ordinary. Fan, it's nearly time. Dude, I was so pumped last night, I could barely sleep. Me too. I can't believe it's here at last. Come on, if we're late for registration, we won't be able to complete. Com ah, compete. Let's head for the Artemis Arena. So we're now going to Artemis, or should I say, next time we are going to Artemis. Because the second we go there, we will end up finding a very certain thing there, and I just want to see if the quest that I'm going to do there is already available. Yep, so when we get there, we will do a lot in that episode. So without further ado, I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord, follow Twitch, and I'll see you all in the next one. Don't forget to um, battle on.